Yo guys, how is everyone doing? Welcome back to our Torino career mode here on FIFA 22. I hope everyone is having a lovely day. This is episode 11 and today we have two league matches at home to Calgary and then Rawaya Atalanta. We are in brilliant form at the moment, unbeaten in our last nine matches. And to be honest, I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would. I thought we would be probably around mid-table, just above mid-table, that kind of position. So at the moment, I'm definitely overachieving. But there's still a long way to go in the season, of course. Let's just hope we can keep it going. So we start today against Calgary. Let's see if we can make it 10 unbeaten. Belotti on the ball, Gutierrez, now Brecolo, Piazza, Belotti, Piazza again, now Gutierrez, oh off the post, oh my god, it was almost a beauty, but we're still looking for the first goal, oh why couldn't that go in? <laughs> Gutierrez on the ball, Mandragera, now Belotti, goes off target, and it's still goalless. But so far, we've dominated this match. So hopefully, the chances keep coming, and we can eventually score the first goal in this match. Pavaletti on the ball for the away side. 26 minutes gone. Are they about to open the scoring against the run of play? Thankfully not. Milinkovic Savage does well to grab the ball ahead of Joa Pedro. And we have possession back. Can we go up the other end and open the scoring? Can we find Gutierrez? We can't. Strootman does well. Ooh, that was a dangerous pass, but they do keep it. 30 minutes gone, and so far we have been the much better team. We've played some nice football, and we've defended superbly. But here they come on the attack, looking to take the lead. It's a very dangerous cross-in. And we do header it away, and that's a lovely header as well from Singo. Now Gutierrez, Brecolo, Belotti, Piazza. Out to this right-hand side in Singo and his fantastic play. Can he make the score? 1-0. Oh, my God. Horrendous finish. Oh, man. That should be a goal. Balde on the ball for the away side. Now, Joa Pedro. Oh, what a pass. Pavoletti lashes it home for 1-0. Calgary have opened the scoring totally against the run of play. Oh, I can't believe it. What a pass from Joa Pedro. Brilliant assist from the striker. And it's a really good finish from his strike partner. We trail after being the much better side. How frustrating. Mandragera on the ball. Now Piazza. Belotti. Piazza again. Now Gutierrez to his left hand side is Brecolo. Brilliant finish. And it's all square at 1 1. What a start to the second half. Just the start we needed. It's game back on after 51 minutes. Rodriguez on the ball. Now Gutierrez. Belotti. Piazza. 
And it's a good tackle from the defender. And he's done really well to find a teammate. And what a pass that is. Balde on the ball. And it's a decent delivery in. Poor header. Oh my god. The goalkeeper tips it over. Should have caught that, in my opinion. Gagliano on the ball for the away side. It's a very good pass from the striker, and he has it back. Pereiro, brilliant save. And it's still all square at 1-1. Is there going to be a hero in this match? I can feel someone scoring. I really can. Zanabria, Piazza. Zanabria again. Piazza, Zanabria, now Gutierrez, and the shot gets blocked. I have not been good in this second half whatsoever. I was brilliant in the first, but second half, I have been pretty poor. Pereiro on the ball for the away side, now Balde plays it forward to Joa Pedro, and he's done really well to find a teammate. Now Rog. Gagliano again up against Rodriguez and the centre-back does really well to break up the attack. And here he is back on the ball. Mandragera forward to Moretti. Oh, nearly finds Gutierrez with a brilliant pass. But unfortunately it did get intercepted but we do win it back immediately. Now Zanabria, can we make it 2-1? Oh, what a block. Zanabria, brilliant block again. Now Muscopolis, terrible effort from the youngster. And it's still 1-1 with just a few seconds to go. Muscopolis on the ball, oh it's a fantastic pass. Now Moretti into Piazza, can he get past his man? Yes he can, Piazza 2-1 in the dying seconds of the game and of course it had to be that man, Piazza. He is on fire at the moment. He now has 10 Serie A goals this season. And just like in the last game, he has scored in the dying seconds of the match to win it for us. We are victorious against Calgary. Piazza was the hero once again, scoring in the final seconds of the game to get us all three points what a way to end the match i seriously might have to sign piazza at the start of season two because he has been incredible for us and he'll probably finish as our top goal scorer as well so yeah i think i'm gonna bring him back next season full-time result here torino 2 calgary 1on the ball, now Belotti, Aina, Belotti again, just wide, and it's still goalless, that was a very good effort, and the closest anyone has come to scoring in this game, not been eventful whatsoever, it's been pretty poor from both teams to be honest, yeah, that just sums up the game so far. <laughs> oh, God. Pasalic on the ball for Atalanta. Oh, it's a fantastic run from the midfielder, Mirinchuk. Now Zappa Costa Bamford. Brilliant finish from the striker. 42 minutes gone. Atalanta 1 to Reno Neal. And let's just hope this goal brings the game to life because, yeah, so far it's not been great. But that was a decent goal and a really good finish. On the turn as well, wow. Bamford now has six Serie A goals this season in 16 matches. 
having a decent campaign. Gutierrez on the ball, Brecolo, now Belotti, Piazza, Belotti, Piazza again, and it's fantastic play, oh my god, what a save. That should have been a goal. Cool. Brilliant save. 50 minutes gone and we get the first corner of the half and it's going straight to Belotti. And the ball's up in the air. Can we win it? We can't. The keeper does well to catch it. And the attack is over. That was almost the perfect start to the second half. Mandragera on the ball. Now Gutierrez. Brecolo. Belotti. Now Gutierrez. Very good save. And it's still 1-0 to the home side. And we have our second corner of the half. And it's a fantastic delivery. And it does get cleared away only as far as Rodriguez. Decent effort. It was a simple save. And I think we are going to have to make a few changes very, very soon. And Mandragero has done very well to win it back for us. Can we pick out a teammate? Fantastic delivery. Oh, what a header from Belotti. And it's all square at 1-1 after 64 minutes. That was a brilliant goal. Fantastic cross from Mandragero. And it was a really good header. Pasilic on the ball for Atalanta. Now Boga, and it's decent play from the winger, and he does find a teammate, and they do keep it. Boga, now Zabata, Zappa Costa! Oh, it's gone in. It's 2-1 to Atalanta with just under 10 minutes to go. Oh, man. For a split second. I thought the goalkeeper was going to keep it out. But it's gone over the line and it's a goal. Atalanta lead. Moscopolis on the ball. Now Gutierrez. Mandragera. Piazza. Right hand side is Singo. Off target. Oh, that was the chance. That was the chance to get a point. And stretch our unbeaten run to 11 games. We've been defeated for the first time in 10 games. Our unbeaten run comes to an end. But we definitely didn't deserve to lose this match. So, yeah, a very, very frustrating result. Hopefully, we can go on another good run, an even better one, and keep fighting with the big boys at the top until the very end. Full-time result here, Atalanta 2, Torino 1. So after a win and a loss in today's episode, we are now in 5th place. 3 points separate the top 5 after 19 games. Absolutely insane. Juventus are top, Inter in second, Atalanta, Milan and us all on 38 points. It is incredibly tight. I did forget to mention a few things at the start of the episode. All these players have been recalled because they're not playing enough games. And Gamelo, the young goalkeeper, has left. He's going to England. The only one I was surprised about was Pryat and maybe Fares. He played in some games as well, but not as many as Pryat. And I did get an email, well, multiple emails from all these clubs saying they were unhappy with the amount of playing time their players were getting. And I decided to check, especially Pryat, because I was like, he's played in most of the games. And at that point, we had played nine. Pryat had appeared in seven and I was just like, huh? How are you unhappy with that? Seven appearances in nine games. And I'm kind of frustrated, to be honest, because he was pretty decent for us. But we're not going to try and bring him back to the club. I don't think it's worth it, to be honest. I am scouting three players from South America. 
Boas Santos, Lima and Edrada. Their scout report comes back in 13 days and at the moment they're all looking pretty decent. One of the objectives is to sign two players from South America. And I probably will sign two out of those three players. And Jed Wallace signed a new contract. So we're not going to be able to get him for free, unfortunately. I checked last month in December. Hadn't signed a new contract. So I was like, yes, we're getting closer to January. And I can offer him a contract and he'll join us at the start of season two. As soon as January began, I checked. He signed a new contract. So kind of frustrating. But in the next episode, we start in Coppa Italia action. Away at Roma. And then we're away at Napoli in the league. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. I normally go on the calendar. <laughs> so away at Roma to kick off the episode and then away at Napoli in Serie A so that is going to wrap up today's video guys I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one thanks so much for watching guys have an amazing day peace